CTU, we have an absolute passion for the development of ICT professionals. I'm Michi van Staden, I'm the Managing Director of Obsidian Systems. Uh, we've been a Red Hat training partner since 1999, so we've been doing this for quite a while. Um, and we're very excited about the partnership together with CTU. Uh, it's taking our knowledge and experience of open source, and specifically Red Hat training, together with CTU into a larger training market. So we're very excited about the partnership. Now together we are planning to train professionals across South Africa in open source and specifically Red Hat and what is fantastic for CTU is we get access to two of only four Red Hat architects in South Africa. Now those architects have got lots of experience in training as well so we will be able to train Red Hat certification across South Africa at all our centers. I think this is a fantastic opportunity for both companies um, to make a significant contribution to the development of ICT professionals in South Africa. Uh, as Obsidian, uh, we've been doing open source technologies for 18 years. Uh, we focus on uh, selling the technology as well as providing consulting and training. And now with this partnership, taking that knowledge together with CTU into the market, uh, very exciting for us. and. Uh, you know, we've been doing training for a long time, since 1999. Red Hat uh, is definitely one of the most sought after IT certifications in the world. Um, and we're lucky enough that we have uh, two of the four Red Hat certified architects working for us. Uh, and they also are core trainers. So uh, it's exciting for us to take this knowledge and pass it on to the greater good of South Africa. I'm an employee here at Obsidian Systems. I've been working with open source since about 1996. Uh, that's when I first installed Red Hat uh, Linux. Being a consultant and a trainer, uh, I'm able to pass on that experience to my students, you know, to my learners, so that uh, you know they don't have to learn the hard way. Uh, many times, you know, <laughs> you think you know what you're doing, you do something, and it breaks things horribly and uh, that's an experience to learn from but now of course not everyone wants to break things horribly so you pass that knowledge on to people uh, when you do the training so you know training is forms part of what i do um, but large amount of what i do is actually consulting out in the industry deploying many of the products that uh, that red hat has you know in their stable at the moment so that includes of course the the clustering storage the uh, virtualization the uh, performance tuning you know doing network service security in the training environment basically uh, you have our physical systems that you work on and on those systems we have virtual machines uh, that the learners will basically perform certain tasks on. So they're given a criterion, uh, for instance, like set up a web server that serves out a certain website, uh, that it must also be password protected, that sort of thing. So they get a hands-on real-world experience uh, with sort of things that you could expect to, to do in the industry. You know, and because it's a, it's a you know, trainer-learner environment, you know, we also offer our expertise because there's always many ways to perform a task there's not always just one set way to do things so uh, we obviously give them the the set method of this is how you know it suggests that you should do it but there are alternatives you know the many ways to skin a cat way of going about things trading material that red hat offers is very detailed i mean the the uh, exercise that you are given, it's all hands-on, it's no theory. In fact, you know, when you do your Red Hat certification exams, they never ask you theoretical questions. It's always practical, it's can you do this? My name is Billy, I've been playing with uh, Linux uh, since I studied 10, 12 years ago. I started out as a developer for Obsidian, um, moved over into consulting, similar to really doing deployments, uh, support consulting, and uh, eventually got my own RFCE and doing training. You start out with three courses, sysadmin 1, sysadmin 2, and then you can do your first exam, your first practical exam, and you continue onwards to sysadmin 3, uh, and you can do your second exam, and that is the RFCE exam, it's the, the one you really want.
Reddit has been the one of the top three IT certifications for the last seven years running. You know, so basically your Cisco, your Microsoft, and Reddit. Um, the RHC has been one of the top uh, three certs for the last seven years. And the reason for this is because it's a proven certification. You know, people who see that you have a Red Hat certified engineer behind your name know for a fact that you're able to, you know, implement solutions for them on any certified platform with Red Hat Enterprise Linux. It integrates well with you know, your other enterprise products like Oracle, Microsoft Systems, uh, Active Directory. So you're able to, you know, have systems that perform as print servers, file servers, uh, database servers, and you can have authentication running uh, pointed at uh, an Active Directory. You can have Active Directory users logging into uh, services running on your uh, Red Hat systems. It's a great tool and uh, platform to plug into your existing environments. It works well. It plays well with others. In South Africa specifically though, you know, we have um, a government mandate to implement open source solutions so that, you know, we're not tied into uh, one one platform, one architecture, one vendor. Open source is, you know, the de facto, this is what you need to do. And uh, it basically affords many opportunities to people who want to work in and around the government space. Uh, it's only an advantage to be able to say, look, I am certified as a Red Hat administrator who can you know, install systems, troubleshoot, maintain, update uh, your environments for you.